Houston, Real Estate Radio. Thanks for tuning into Houston Real Estate Radio this Sunday afternoon. I'm Shannon Register. I'm James Brown. And we're here in the RREA.com studio with our guest, Bill Vineyard. He is with Safe Haven Security. And we're talking today about home security while you're on vacation. There are a lot of things uh, to plan while you're getting ready to go on vacation. And a lot of families have a lot of things to think about. Um, you want to make sure you have the plane tickets and the car reserved and uh, get the dog to the to the uh, the vet before you leave or somewhere where someone's going to be watching the dog. So many things to think about. Um, home security is probably the last priority, but uh, it's very important. Wouldn't you agree, Bill? I would absolutely agree. Uh, when you go on vacation, don't forget to turn your alarm on for sure. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And um, Bill is an ADT rep for uh, uh, Safe Haven, does ADT installations as well and have lots of specials um, for ADT installation and home monitoring. What are some of the simple things you can do to keep yourself safe while you're on a, on a holiday? Stop the newspaper if you still get one. Mm -hmm. Uh, If you have a good rapport with your neighbor, have them take the little hanger things that come on your front door. Mm -hmm. Stop your mail. And uh, it's not a bad idea to notify the police department that you're going to be out of town so they can keep a kind of an eye on your home as they're doing their patrols through the neighborhood. Hmm, That's interesting. Do they do uh, do you know that they have that service at? Every law enforcement agency, or would it just be... Oh, well, I can't speak for all of them, yeah. but I know that several do, sure. Mm-hmm. Do you still recommend those timers on you know, your TV, your lights? Definitely, I would recommend a light and television timer. Um, it gets dark, you know, the television comes on, the lights come on, looks like uh, business as usual, so the bad guys think someone's still home. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, there are different types of of security systems that can be installed out there. And I know some people like to be able to see what's going on in the home, be able to have their, have it right there on their iPhone. Tell us about those systems and what, what people can have as far as comfort when they're away on vacation. Well, that would be the pulse system we install. uh, We have cameras that monitor, uh, you know, at your discretion, typically the front door. Uh, people like them on the back door. Some people like them in the garage. Um, also have uh, um, let me see. We have <laughs> we have the cameras. We have uh, a way to control your thermostat. We can do that as well. Um, Microphones too, right? Microphones, what we have actually on our systems with the two-way system, should you have an intrusion in your home, ADT will start monitoring what happens inside your home Mm -hmm. uh, while you're gone. Maybe get a description of who's in there, their names, how many people, which they can relay to the oncoming emergency vehicles if the alarm goes off, if they uh, trip the alarm, if you remember to set it. Mm-hmm. And what happens when um, your, let's say your power is off all day, is your alarm still going to work properly? Typically our alarms have a battery backup that works for uh, about 72 hours. Uh, also good around here in the storm season, the power goes down, your system's still up and functional. Um, we also use cellular communication on most of our systems. And uh, that eliminates the need for a home phone line. Should a hurricane come through, like just happened in New York, Mm -hmm. the lines are down, electricity's off, you're still protected for like the first two or three days for sure. So that's a little bit of an upgrade, right? You pay a little bit more per month to have the cellular service versus a phone line. Is that right? Uh, You do, yeah. It's about uh, 30 cents a day more. I think that's very affordable. Yeah, it it is very affordable. And so do you recommend that people go ahead and do that up front, or is that something that you can switch to later on? You know, if you decide to get rid of your home phone, you can switch to that? You can upgrade to that, but uh, it's just so much better to have the cellular communication. I mean, people don't realize that the bad guys just can walk up with a pair of snips and just clip your phone line and all of a sudden your alarm isn't working, there's no communication, you know. Mm. And we have rollover from one cell tower to another. If a cell tower goes down here, it's still talking to another cell tower somewhere else. And does the alarm go off when the power's cut, or are people notified that the power's out by ADT, or do they have any way of monitoring that? 
All they're notified is that there's a problem on their line. If someone okay. clips their phone line, mm -hmm. all the all that we know is that there's a problem. You we don't know, know if it's a power outage or okay. Right, and mm -hmm. in the event that uh, the phone lines get blown down by a storm or something, we mm -hmm. can't call you. Yeah. You know, but if you have a cell phone and, and you have cell, a cellular uplink monitoring, well, then obviously there's two-way communication. Now, some of the panels, control panels in the house will have it where the, the person monitoring can talk to the family inside. Does that still work when the phone lines are down? Is that working through the cellular service or through the That'll phone lines? Work, that works on a, a GSM is what that one's called. Uh, it's a, uh, it is a cellular. It's built into the panel itself. And why that's really nice, in, in the case of a medical emergency, uh, say you have a choking victim. Mm -hmm. They fall to the floor, you hit the medical panic, ADT comes on the phone, or, this, or comes across your panel, I mean, and mm -hmm. this is ADT, uh, we have a medical panic, what's the nature of your emergency? They can, uh, most of them are uh, EMT trained, and they can work you through uh, any any sort of thing you might do to help this person, you know, tell you how to get the food out, whatever. Yeah, I just think that's fabulous for people with children because children don't know what to do in an emergency, and sometimes they don't even know how to use the phone to call for help. But if Absolutely. someone just, you know, if they know how to push one button and right. then talk to whoever comes on, you know, right. that's so much easier for them, I think. It is, and another nice benefit is the people – on the other end of the alarm, the uh, monitoring station can relay the information to the emergency vehicles coming, and they would know if they have a choking victim, a heart attack, you know, a burn victim. Right. So that just seconds are very important in a medical emergency. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. So what about, um, what sort of time delay is there from the time that the alarm actually starts going off and the time that the police are notified? Are, are the consume the homeowners notified first to see if it's a real emergency does it go straight to the police what, that's what up kind to of time the frame? homeowner that's up to the homeowner we can call up to three people before we notify the uh, the emergency number of the uh, police or fire or whatever um i advise one person call one person and uh then do the emergency call and then try the other people so that's a setup when you set up the system that's something exactly that you're set that's up. that's completely at their discretion some communities do charge for false alarms. They do charge um, alarm holders, homeowners. They do. Um, you know, typically, wherever you live, I know in Houston uh, and most of the surrounding areas, you need a permit. Mm -hmm. That's something most people don't realize. Uh, and then if they have an alarm, all of a sudden they get a fine for $75, you know, and then well, we didn't know you needed a permit. Well, you do need a permit. And okay. the permits are only like $10, so they're, you really want to get those. Yeah, they're not very expensive. I highly yeah. recommend them. And that way you get up to three false alarms a year, and hmm. you don't get a fine. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that I just, it amazes me, because I, I, I'm connected with some really smart people on Facebook, and it just amazes me. They can be on vacation and loading pictures onto Facebook of their vacation, and, you know, they live down the street from me, and, and their house is just there vacant, and they're just telling the world about it. It just amazes yeah. me, the yeah. people who don't think about that. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. Any online tips that you give consumers, anything that they need to be aware of as far as social media? Because we really live in a new time now. I mean, when I was growing up, we didn't have to worry about social media and, and where pic pictures were going to be posted and, and things like that. And, um, you know, all the geotagging. People know exactly where you are when you're posting them. Absolutely. There's a lot of crafty, mean, bad people out there. And uh, whatever you put on there, you're advertising to the world. And that's just not smart. It's just not smart at all. You need to uh, keep your business to yourself, and that way nobody will be trying to come and uh, compromise your safety. Mm -hmm. Right, right. How can we get in touch with you if someone wanted to uh, to learn more? Uh, there's two ways. Uh, you can call the uh, national sales number, which is 713-966-6190. Well, you know what? I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions myself. And you can reach me locally here at 832-830-1830. Okay.
Fantastic. Some great tips for people getting ready to go out there on vacations. We appreciate that. If you've got a real estate question for James or myself, you can give us a call here at the answer line at 281-882-8088. I'm Shannon Register. I'm James Brown. And you're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back.